Democrats are like in panic mode, and James Carville's out there saying, we look, Bernie, we're cooked. <laughs> are you optimistic, despite all the sort of meltdown of the last couple of weeks? I'm optimistic because there's no reason to be pessimistic. There is more coordination, more activity, and more work being done on the Democratic side than in any presidential campaign I've ever remotely been a part of. We've got probably about 60 people in this office. We've got another 15 to 20 in New York. And then we've got folks in four battleground states. They help us do everything from understand what voters we should be targeting to telling us whether or not an ad is working. But we can test Trump ads, we can test our ads, we can do it quickly. It's come a long way since my day. It is. Uh, <laughs> it's come a long way since 2016. We regularly do electoral college projections. They have been based on about 100,000 interviews every month. So this is the current Electoral College projection, which has us at 278 and has Trump at 260. It has- It's a pretty uh, narrow margin. It's a one state margin, yeah. If our projection among white working class voters is off by two points, we lose the election. If our projection of turnout among people of color is off by four points, we lose the election. So what do you say to Democrats who are looking at this field and saying, I don't necessarily see anybody here who can beat Donald Trump. What do you say to them? We have a president that, on his best day, his favorable rating is minus eight, minus nine, minus 10. Data doesn't tell us we're going to win. Data can tell us we have a chance to we win. We can win, yeah. The idea that the race is lost or that everything is terrible, there's nothing in the data that suggests that that's the case. And I understand the electability. You know, we want to elect somebody that's electable. How about everybody just votes for who they think would be the best president? Yeah. And then we'll just let the rest shake out.